Are you ready to unlock the secrets to success and live a life of purpose and fulfillment? Look no further than The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This book has the power to transform your life and take you from feeling stuck and overwhelmed to feeling in control and unstoppable. As someone who has struggled with managing my time and feeling like I was just going through the motions, this book was a game changer for me. It taught me how to be proactive, set clear goals, prioritize my time, and work effectively with others. This book delves deeper than just the surface level tips and tricks, it provides a comprehensive guide for how to navigate the complexities of life and improve the quality of your relationships. I remember reading this book for the first time, and it was like a secret code was unlocked in my mind. Suddenly, everything made sense, and I knew exactly what I needed to do to create the life I wanted. And even years later, I still refer back to it and find new insights and wisdom in its pages. If you're ready to take control of your life and unlock your full potential, then I highly recommend you give this book a read. So, are you ready to start your journey to success? Let's dive in. Habit 1. Be proactive. Being proactive is about taking ownership of your own actions and decisions, rather than allowing external circumstances to dictate your agenda. This means recognizing that you are in charge of your own life, and taking steps to actively shape it. One way to put this habit into practice in your professional or technical field is by identifying areas where you want to make progress and actively taking steps to achieve your goals. For example, a software developer might identify a new programming language that they want to learn, and actively seek out resources and opportunities to do so. They might attend meetups and conferences, connect with other developers on social media, or take an online course to acquire the new skills. By being proactive, they are taking control of their own professional development, rather than waiting for opportunities to come to them. It also means taking action before being asked or before a problem arises, being responsible for their own lives and not being a victim of circumstances. Habit 2. Begin with the end in mind. This habit is about setting clear goals and working towards them. It's about having a clear vision of what you want to achieve and taking the necessary steps to make it happen. In the professional or technical field, this can mean setting specific, measurable, and achievable targets for your projects or career advancement. For instance, a project manager might set a goal to complete a project within a specific time frame, and then create a plan of action to make it happen. They might set milestones, assign tasks to team members, and establish deadlines to ensure that the project stays on track. By beginning with the end in mind, the project manager is setting a clear vision for the project and taking the necessary steps to achieve it. It also means having a clear understanding of what you want to achieve in your personal and professional life, and having a plan to achieve it. Habit 3. Put first things first. This habit is about prioritizing your time and energy on the most important tasks and activities. It's about focusing on what truly matters, rather than getting bogged down in low-priority tasks. In the professional or technical field, this might mean prioritizing the most important features or functionality of a project, and focusing on those first, rather than getting sidetracked by less important tasks. For instance, a network administrator might prioritize the security and stability of their network, and take action to ensure that those areas are taken care of before addressing less critical issues. They might conduct regular security audits, install firewalls, and establish backup procedures to ensure that their network is as secure as possible. By putting first things first, the network administrator is focusing on the most important tasks and ensuring that the network is as stable and secure as possible. It also means focusing on what is important and not getting distracted by less important things. Habit 4. Think win-win. 
This habit is about finding mutually beneficial solutions in your relationships and interactions with others. It's about working towards a common goal and creating a positive outcome for all parties involved. In the professional or technical field, this might mean working collaboratively with other team members or stakeholders to find solutions that meet everyone's needs. For example, a product manager might work closely with their development team to ensure that their product meets the needs of their customers, while also being feasible for the development team to build. They might gather customer feedback, conduct user research, and work closely with the development team to ensure that the product is designed with both the customer and the development team in mind. By thinking win-win, the product manager is creating a mutually beneficial solution that meets the needs of all parties involved. It also means creating a solution that benefits all parties, not just yourself. It's about finding a solution that is a win for everyone involved. Habit 5 seek first to understand, then to be understood. This habit is about actively listening and trying to understand others' perspectives before communicating your own. It's about putting yourself in other people's shoes and understanding their needs and concerns. In the professional or technical field, this might mean taking the time to understand the needs of your clients or customers and tailoring your solutions to meet those needs. For instance, a consultant might take the time to understand the specific needs of their clients by conducting interviews and surveys, and then design a custom solution that meets those needs. They might also seek to understand the current processes and systems in place and identify areas of improvement to suggest to the client. By seeking to understand first, the consultant is able to provide a more effective and tailored solution to the client, rather than just offering a generic solution. It also means listening actively and trying to understand others' perspective before communicating your own. Habit 6. Synergize. This habit is about working together with others to achieve more than you could on your own. It's about collaborating and leveraging the strengths of others to create something truly impactful. In the professional or technical field, this might mean working closely with other team members or stakeholders to find solutions to complex problems. For example, a group of engineers might work together to design a new piece of equipment, each bringing their unique expertise to the table to create a more robust and effective solution. By working together, the engineers are able to combine their skills and knowledge to create a solution that is greater than the sum of its parts. It also means collaborating with others to achieve more than you could individually. Habit 7. Sharpen the saw. This habit is about taking care of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being to ensure that you have the energy and resources to effectively implement the other habits. This means taking the time to recharge and rejuvenate, so that you can perform at your best. In the professional or technical field, this might mean making time for activities that help you to relax and recharge, such as exercise, meditation, or reading. It might also mean taking breaks during the workday, getting enough sleep, and eating a healthy diet. By taking care of yourself, you can ensure that you have the energy and focus to perform at your best. It also means taking care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually to be able to perform at your best. Thank you for watching our video on the 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. We hope that you found the information shared in the video to be helpful and that you feel more confident in your ability to improve your effectiveness and productivity in your professional and technical fields. Remember, the strategies and techniques outlined in the book can be applied to a variety of situations and can help you achieve your goals and improve your life. The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People is a valuable resource for anyone looking to create lasting change and build good habits, so if you're ready to make positive changes to your professional and technical field, give this book a read. 
We hope you found this video to be helpful and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.